Hi everyone, it's Jules by Jude here. We're going to do a rose cane today and see how it goes. I'm glad to be back in the uh, tutorial YouTube seat at this time. So let's get started. This is a Skinner blend with a blue, turquoise, and white. And we are going to make this into a, a cane. Um, I call them accordion canes, but you know, I don't know what other people call them. So I'm going to start with this. I'm going to go, I should say, this short. So you see now I folded that together. And I'm going to put that through my pasta machine in a second here. And then bring it back so you can see how I've done it. But I'm going to roll it thin enough at this point just to get it through my machine properly. Okay? On a number two first. Okay, this is what it looks like. And it's going to go through again and probably on a four. Yes. Now as I folded it, and you saw how I folded it, it then goes through the machine this way instead of this way. And that is why it's retaining its shape. Okay? And as you can see the white white is here and the blue blue is here. I'm going to look at it. Oh to decide have to decide what it will do is thinning out your Skinner blend more and more as it goes through the machine like this will become you know longer and stretch it out more enhancing the color I may do it one more time and we're going to go through a six Okay, I ran this through on a six. As you can see very clearly how the fading has begun really thin. I'm going to stop here and I'm going to fold this up like an accordion. That's how I do it of all sorts. And you will see the different types of clay you can use. One could be too stiff and one could be definitely too soft. But if you can find a mediocre, now what I'm using here is Primo. And that's a, that is a not too stiff, just right. The Goldilocks concept, just right. Now I'm into my dark, dark blue, as you can see, and I'm taking my time because I don't want to rip my clay too much as I'm folding. And as you know, flowers aren't perfect anyway, so, but you want to be as good as you can coming through this process. Okay. This is what you have thus far. Okay. Okay, so you see we have it all flattened out here. Now we have to reduce this. Okay, squish it together, try to make sure the air is out. And we have to make it smaller, much smaller. Okay. So continue to reduce until you can get it small enough and long enough to cut out, I don't know, 12 or 13 chunks. There's different ways to make this cane. And there are uh, some really good videos out on how to do it. And the reason why I'm showing you is because I don't want to skip a step out from making the necklace that I'm hoping to make for you with hopefully <laughs> this pendant and I, I laugh when I say that because I get off a of track so easily and 
I, I want to make sure you get a good shot at how this is done. So I will, you know, hopefully be able to videotape myself putting an actual necklace together. And I hope to be using the rose cane that I'm making now for that. But we will see, okay? We will see. So I guess the idea here is to make sure that you get this that has enough pieces to make sure that you can make an, and indeed a nice size cane with uh, lots of petals. I don't want to say lots, but enough petals. I like this blue color. It's really pretty. Now, it's definitely not going to be your traditional rose color rose. I don't know how many of these that you can go ahead and uh, make naturally. You can use the red, red colors. That would, you know, and the pink colors. And even yellow, actually. That would be nice. And now they spray paint them anyway, I believe, somehow or another. They use spray, something like that. So you can get pretty creative with all of that color stuff. But it, you need to start with a, well, you don't need to start with a Skinner blend, but they are the most beautiful ones I've seen. So what I'm doing here is I am still reducing this. And I can see that that's causing some some bubble issues, so make sure that that stops soon enough. I need to get about 12 or 13 pieces out of this. So, I probably want them to be in inches as well. You know, maybe an inch long as I cut them. <sighs> Hopefully, I'm around 11 inches, so I want to keep going a little bit. And this is going to be so much easier than you may have thought that something like this would take, um, or the difficulty level is quite simple, the simplicity of it, and it can get quite technical as well. So this is a basic one. This is not your um, detailed, greatly detailed. And a lot of my stuff is abstract. So whenever I do mess up, I and I do, and you know I do, because um, I've only been doing this for about three or four years, I think, maybe. Maybe two. I don't know. I don't count. Especially now, during this time of... Uh, oh, good. We're getting there. 13 inches. And I have to cut the ends off. So I want to just do a little bit more. And as you can see, this is not, you know too difficult and you can see my dark my light and my white I really like those colors I think they blend well I'm gonna do my can okay oh this is great okay now what I'm gonna do here is cut off my ends I might be out of your screen at this, the screen at this point so all right We're at 14. So, all right. I'm going to do one inch squares. Okay. And even though I, I measured and can measure, I'm going to stick with the pieces that I have here. Meaning, instead of measuring the inch I'm measuring the individual pieces to cut I guess the reason is I'd rather use the pieces that I'm going to use than my ruler in case my hand slips or something like that in the sense that I'm off by too much and then the sizes won't be anywhere as close to each other so I like to use an actual cut piece and still they're not going to be exactly but they will be closer um, I mean unless you want to take you know an hour to cut them which I don't want to so all right
could feel that one going sideways, unfortunately, but So if you do end up messing up these things do make and I'm like I said I've messed up a lot of them. They make very good abstract Natasha beads, all kinds of things you can do with these because the colors will just be beautifully blended regardless of whether it looks like a rose or not. Okay. So all right, so we've got let's see here, one, two, three. There's a couple short. Nine, ten, yes, fourteen. Okay, so you have to make the center of the rows. And in order to do that, you need to squish down on the sides like this. There are, as I said, quite a few different techniques. You want to move in slightly because you don't want to make this too wide, long. You want, you want it to be wider than longer. Something that you could probably do is that if you hold your fingers like that and don't squish, you might be able to hold your shape without it stretching out too long. So just a little tip. This is going to be the center one and that is why I am dramatically squishing only one side because this is not how you'll be doing all of them. Now see how that's squished out like that? So this is the exception to the rule. You want to get that down a little bit more like a center. So I am going to squish out that and see how I hold on to the ends. Okay, because I don't want a center to be too Sorry for the phone. Ooh, make it a little round. And, uh, there we go, see? All right. Okay, so this here, you can see where some of the white has come over. That's good. That's very good. Okay. So this is a little wide right here, so I think I might get that down a little bit more like that. Okay, this is the center piece. Keep that in mind. So you want to roll it in sort of like where the darker color, the white is rolling over it, okay? Just like that. Whatever color you're using, mine is the blue. And you want to roll that into it. Now, you see there's a little bit of a hole there. You don't want that hole. You want to roll that in. Now, I mean, you want to make sure it's as long as your next piece, okay? Just like that. Now, I like to do this a little bit, just a little. Tighten it up a little bit, squish it back down. This one I want a little tight. The rest of them, they can be pretty loose. And like I said, measure, make sure they don't go beyond. Okay? And then you can put that one aside. And now with this, you want to do something very similar these you're going to make your leaves okay here are your petals it's already starting to look a little bit like that all right let's get one good one down here and then we'll just start going from there okay and you're going to do that with all of them you're going to do the same thing now keep in mind, some people actually do a triangle one and they squish it in like that. I'm trying this technique 
and there's about a million of these techniques out there anyway you want to get some of that white from underneath it there to, to pop okay right there all right see that there you go let's measure perfect perfect and you move on to that now I'm not going to make you see watch me do all 14 of these so I will meet you back here when I get them done okay okay now I've done all my pieces and what I want to show you is this is my center piece okay now I've chosen like some of these pieces they just don't come out even enough so I, I did end up with smaller pieces and I'm going to use them towards the center and we will reshape some of these as we go but first let's see how we go always using the white side out and this we are always going to use the white on the outside okay see like that and we're always going to loop, uh, wrap around and layer Let's get that in there that one layer now this can be done on the outside or the inside okay just so you know All right. meaning outside inside right now I'm doing the inside and I have them plenty on the outside so there we go I'm just gonna keep going around like that for now and this would make layer one I believe so what we do here is we want to make sure we got you know let's take some time here and make sure it's nice and even and the ends are pushed down just a tad bit oh, I'm getting old. I mean you don't have to pack it don't pack it but let's get it straightened out you know let's get it a little straightened out pull down just in case you know that kind of thing all right now what we're going to do is we're going to push these sides down a little bit and we're going to make them more like that this is going to be our second row and we are going to cover the seams like so that's right. one seam and you can go ahead and do like I wait and see what it looks like before I go and do this part no it's just me oh just still keeping it the same length <coughs> excuse me and covering the seams okay this is really not too hard to do but believe me famous last words that's how I look at it <laughs> famous last words okay this is the other seam right here so I'll put that over here so and, you know petals are petals okay this is the last one for this row or layer however you want to say it I like to say row and that fits very nicely see that over that and since I have so many pieces uh, we're gonna do another row I guess see how it looks looks kind of cool doesn't it looks kind of cool all right let's uh, let's make this into a little bit of a pointed thing there going on so you could see how we did it the first time. We did them all the same, and now we're just we are just manipulating them white on the outside and going over each of these seams. And at the end, we'll still have seams, but this is just a barometer of how we want to do this last layer. See, just like that. I like these colors. 
So we're not layering over top of each other now. We're, we're just joining and layering over the seams. I hope that makes sense. Yeah, it's kind of weird. See, we gotta pull down a little bit because this one shrunk up or the other's got too big, one or the other, right? And this is our last one. See how I pushed that in? Made it kind of like that. And this is our last seam for that layer. And now we make ourselves a rose cane. So from here you just reduce down. And I'm not going to show the entire thing on this video. But I will show you what it looks like after I reduce. And reducing is squeezing, little pulling, squeezing, pulling. Looks a little different. Try not to, you can't, you know, you, you don't, one thing is you don't have to pack it too much, too badly. You know, like, just do it lightly. Move up and down the cane. Make sure it's all nice and warm. And you can see how I've already started to reduce it. And I'll meet you back here when I'm done. Now <clears throat> is the moment of truth, so they may say. Now I haven't let this rest, so... I mean, you're seeing it practically real time, except for I... Excuse me, I, uh... Let me use this lighter one. So what I'm going to do at this point is show you what the inside looks like. Oh, that came out really good. <gasps> look at that. Oh, look at that rose. Wow. I love it. I'm going to let this rest. And I am going to show you what to do with this. Uh, just not on this video. So I want to thank you all for watching. I hope that you like this portion of this project. And I look forward to making a pendant with these and possibly a necklace. So stay with me. <laughs> this is a really nice rose. So at this point I'd like to say I wish you all well. I'll be back. If you like this video, like it. Push the like button. Subscribe and share. Thanks. Have a blessed day.